developments in the old public school building project in Bedford. 10 News reporter Magda Lelousant tells us how a state grant is helping the town move along with redevelopment. People who walk around the old public school building, also known as Old Yellow to many people here in the town of Bedford, have been wondering what is happening here. Well, town officials tell me they can finally say some excitement is coming here. Kirsten Arthur is one of the many people in the town of Bedford who walks around the old public school building, also known as Old Yellow. It, it has a lot of history. I know for a lot of people in the area, I know my my relatives went to school there years ago. Old Yellow was built in 1912 and has been empty for several years. That will soon change. Economic Development Coordinator Mary Zirkel says a $220,000 grant puts the town one step closer to redeveloping it. And it's a partnership and a team effort with the state. And again, won't be coming out of town funds so much, but we do have to match it because we are part of the, the process to moving this forward. Before redevelopment can begin, cleaning the inside comes first. The grant allows the town to remove an underground storage tank, reduce lead, and install a new roof. People don't get excited about a roof, but we are excited about that. One proposal is a 30-room boutique hotel. A Petersburg developer is behind the idea. They are still working out the details, negotiating the agreement from town council and the developer. So as uh, soon as possible, it is moving forward. Zirkel says this recent news is proof there's still hope for the building. That's why it is so exciting to see something happening here with this announcement that uh, we haven't forgotten. Town officials tell me they hope to get things started here at Old Yellow later this year. In the town of Bedford, Magdala Lusant, 10 News, working for you.